you counted along with me, that was 13 boxes that I just put down. All from Baby the Star Shine Bright Japan. Hi everyone! Today's the day. I am unboxing all the items that I purchased from Baby the Star Shine Bright Japan over the past two years. It was such a wondrous day when Japan Post finally started shipping back to Canada. It has been almost two years of no EMS shipping from Japan to Canada. So I can't tell you how excited I am to unbox everything. I have to put a disclaimer out there. I did not purchase all of this in one go. It was done over the past year and a bit. And I'm very thankful that Baby the Star Shine Bright Japan has actually kept all of the packages for the past year and a bit. So I'm going to unbox everything, sort through them, and I will show you guys what I got. But let's get to unboxing. Fun fact on these official Baby the Star Shine Bright boxes, they have the little thank you flaps. So cute. Timmit has several new boxes now. All right, I have unpacked everything from their plastic present, and I'm a little overwhelmed about where to start first. So I guess I'll start off with accessories that don't come in a series. These two I got on sale. The first is a mini boater hat with a navy ribbon. I thought it was gonna arrive before summer, but it didn't, and that's okay. I'll just have to hang on to this until summer to really wear it out. This is gonna be perfect for summer coordinates when the time comes. I also picked up the Ladder Lace headdress in ivory to match with my ivory dessert OP. It's not as yellow tone as I expected it to look, but it has a lot of gorgeous lace and I can't wait to pair this with my ivory pieces. I also picked up three of the cheap can badges. Two of them are the Gingham Heart Kumia series in red and blue. And then I just picked up a basic Baby the Star Shine Bright pink can badge. They're very cute and I'm very happy to add this into my little badge collection from Baby the Star Shine Bright. That's all the accessories that I picked up that are not part of the series. The next bit I'm gonna show you is all the Usakumia and Kumakumia series that I picked up during this time. And we'll start off with the smallest one, and that is this Kumakumia reusable bag. So it looks like a little coin pouch with a little key ring on the back here. And it's a little pouch in which you can unzip, and voila, inside is a reusable bag. The bag's really cute. It's got an actual Kumia face on it, and it's foldable, very soft, and it looks like it can hold a lot. I think they also comes in a Usa Kumia series too, but I didn't purchase that one, unfortunately. So that's exciting. Oh, it's so soft and cute. So I I have three new family members here. Ah! My three family members have finally come back from their study abroad. <laughs> This is really, really exciting to me. First up is this Kuma Kumia. This is the giant rucksack bag size. This is the second biggest size that you can get. The hands are magnetic. And I'm very happy and excited for this Kuma Kumia to join my Usa Kumia. So now I have a whole little family. Aren't they so adorable together? Oh, very happy to have Kuma Kumia join the family. Family. On the opposite end of large, I also picked up a mini Rasak Usakumia. This is just in basic white. In comparison to a large Usakumia, it is ridiculously tiny. And in comparison to a regular size Usakumia pochette, it's about half the size of one. So it's really cute. It is a rucksack style, so it's got two straps on the back, and your Usakumias can actually carry these little guys as a backpack, which is a super cute, adorable detail. And then the last Usakumia that I purchased was the online. Fukuoka limited edition Usakumia. I believe this was supposed to be inspired by a bee, but it's bright yellow with some really cute brown adorable accents. It has this lovely gold bow on the front. The ears have little pearls sewn into them. And on the back here, it has actually little bee wings just sewn right into the back of the head. It is so cute. I don't have anything yellow, but I thought it would be such a nice contrast against other colors that I have in my wardrobe. Very happy to have it finally in my possession. I think I'm gonna do a Usakumiya family introduction bit sort of video. So let me know if you're interested in seeing all the Usakumiya and Kumakumiya items that I have, because I got a lot. <laughs> With the Usakumias, I actually purchased some clothes for them. Oh my goodness, it comes in a lot of parts. Okay, so this is the white rabbit costume that came with the Trump Alice series. I got it in both black and white. It comes with a little choker with very cute ribbon detailing and this key, which is so cute. Each of the series also comes with little bloomers to put on your Usakumias. Oh my goodness. That is just absolutely precious. And then they also come with these gold bows. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Usakumia clothes are notoriously hard to find, so I'm very happy to have been able to pick up both of these. And I think it'll be really fun to have 
Anusa Kumik wear one, and then the other wear the contrasting color. That would look so cute. I'm very excited to put these on my Usa Kumias. I have one more set of Usa Kumi clothes that I didn't buy the matching series for. So I believe this was Floating Tea Party series, and it's got all of these Usa Kumias on the edge. I got the clothes in the ivory or yellow version because I thought if I was going to purchase the series eventually, I would purchase the sacks, and I thought the yellow would be a very nice contrast. It is a very adorable series and I think I will be on the lookout for the official series sometime in the near future. I also purchased an Usukumia blouse. This is in the chiffon fabric and I thought it would be easier to care for because it is in a chiffon. Eventually I, I will like to get the Kumakumia version as well but it is very very light and flowy. On the Peter Pan collared lace there is custom Usukumia lace which I appreciate. That lace is also on the ends of the sleeve as well. It's very loose fitting and got some really cute detailing. The ruffles on the bottom of the blouse are very adorable and it has flower buttons which I think is quite fitting with the overall series. It's a very cute blouse and I can't wait to wear it with all my Usakumia items. And then I think the most exciting Usakumia and Kumakumia series that I've picked up is the Roomwear series. So I have it in both the Usakumia and Kumakumia series. Maybe the session might release these Roomwear sort of clothes near the end of 2020 and they are so adorable. So you can basically basically cosplay as a kumakumia or a usakumia in your own room. So these sets come with a head bow that just wraps around. It's a super cute bow and it also has this little baby charm at the end of it. It comes with fluffy bloomers, which are fully elasticated on the waist as well as the thigh area. So I think this will be really cute to actually wear as winter bloomers as well, which is also why I purchased them. And then the sweaters themselves are practically huge. They are a zip up and they have a really cute heart zip up tie. The Kumia Kumia ones has Kumia Kumia ears on it as well as Kumia lace on the hood. And then the Usa Kumia one, of course, has Usa Kumia on it as well as the custom Usakumia lace. Both of the series have Baby the Starshine Bright embroidered on the chest here. The sweaters also have pockets and they are hearts. My goodness. And these are such a cute series to have just to stay cozy in and around the house. I absolutely can't wait to wear these and cosplay as Usakumia and Kumakumia and just stay home and stay cozy. So now I'm going to move on to the series that I purchased because this is all just secondary to the main pieces that you're interested in. All right, so the first piece that I'm gonna talk about is this Dreaming Usakumia One Piece. It is of course in Saks Blue. I was really interested in the series because I don't have a lot of baby one pieces and two, this was an Usakumia series. The collar is a basic Peter Pan collar, but it has Usakumia lace on it, as well as lace Usakumia ears on the back. On the front of the dress, it has lace Usakumia pockets. And this fabric is a polyester chiffon sort of fabric, so it'll be easy to care for, which I really appreciate. This one piece zips up in the back and there is full sharing in the waist area. It's it's a very basic dress but it has cute little details and solid construction and I'm very excited to wear this casually. I think I'm going to reach for this one quite often in my wardrobe. It is quite a solid piece. All right, the next piece is actually a jumper skirt skirt combination. This is the Camellia series that I got on sale. It looks like a JSK, but the front as well as the straps are detachable. So you can wear this skirt in three different ways. There is full shearing in the back and the fabric is sort of a tweed material. So this sort of fabric has a lot of texture and weight to it that I think is perfect for the fall winter months. It has a really cute ribbon detailing on the front with a bow in the center on the top as well as the bottom here on the pockets. It's these little details that I think would really elevate this sort of piece and versatility. There are four buttonholes in the back here so you can adjust the straps how you want it which is lovely. I'm really excited to coordinate this piece because it's got a nice combination of warm tones and cool tones especially in this tweed fabric. There's a lot of silver throughout the fabric but then the accents have a lot of gold in them which I think is a really nice, interesting contrast. I can't wait to see the coordinates I come up with for this series. This is such a great pick that I think is gonna be so versatile in my wardrobe. All right, we're gonna talk about the official series that I got. The first up is the Love Heart Embroidery series. I was so interested in the series because embroidery is really hard to come by, especially in modern Lolita. This series just really brought me back. It is a solid cotton JSK. I picked the JSK with a little bear ear 
ears on the bodice detailing and it's got little kumias in the center of it oh that is absolutely adorable on the bodice here we have both usa kumia and kuma kumia lace and then the series on the bottom here is all embroidered in both usa kumia and kuma kumia and i really love the scalloped edge detailing on it absolutely beautiful seriously this sort of series is something that you really don't see in modern day lolita especially when everything is so print heavy oh my goodness i cannot wait to wear this there's only basic heart tool detailing on the bottom here but i think it works really well because it doesn't detract from the embroidered details on the hem itself it really just helps bring the series together it's got half shearing in the back and there are three buttonholes here on the back where you can adjust the straps I feel like the construction on this dress is done so well and I'm very happy to have this dress in my wardrobe. It is such a solid series. Absolutely wonderful. From the same series, I also picked up the OTKs in the white and blue colorway. I also picked up the matching wrist cuffs because I wanted the matching Usukumia lace. And then I purchased the Usukumia clothes after. The initial clothes actually sold out for this series. However, they did a special white and blue colored lace series for specific shops. I really think that the white and blue really have a nice contrast and I can't wait to twin with my kumias in these clothes. Such a cute series. I'm very pleased with my purchase from that series. Oh, it is so gorgeous. Okay, moving on. The next series that I purchased is the Sugar Bouquet Revival series. I have been on the lookout for Sugar Bouquet for quite some time and I was so excited when I saw that Baby was actually doing a revival series for this. I believe this series is actually on certain Baby the Starshine Bright shops walls as their wallpapers. So it is a well beloved series that I absolutely adore and associate with Baby the Starshine Bright. So Sugar Bouquet is a wonderful print of both strawberries and flowers. And I picked up this JSK in Saks. So for the JSK that I picked up, this is actually the Bustle series. So in the back here, there is a full bustle. I love bustles and I just love that sort of peekaboo detail in the back. This series is also half sheared and there are four buttonholes on the back here for the strap adjustment. I'm very excited to have Sugar Bouquet in my wardrobe now and I can't wait to wear it out. This series was a bit of a bloodbath to get. I wasn't able to pick up any of the accessories but I hope to find it one of these days now that the revival series has been re-released and then to make it easier to match I just picked up the matching OTKs as well I'm so excited to wear this especially in the spring summer and then the largest series that I actually purchased a lot from is the Nikokumia present series so this is the first time Nikokumia has been featured in a print series and I literally love this series the series colors that I picked up was the navy version which is so adorable it's got this sort of wallpaper type design on the front and the print is actually bigger than what I was expecting this sort of horizontal design I think works really well for this series the only other series from Baby the Starshine Bright that has this is I think Kumakumia's Royal Kingdom series so it was really reminiscent of that series it has custom Nikokumia lacing on the bottom for this JSK design this top part is actually removable and it's also got all the Nikokumias lined up on top it has half shearing in the back and oh my goodness it's got little cat buttons for the waist ties it's such a cute little detail print that is quite busy but I think it's gonna be absolutely wonderful on it is a solid cotton as well so that just makes me super excited to wear this series so from the same series I also picked up the matching head bow and the OTK socks as well oh these socks are really cute it's gonna really match the vibes and then the jewelry was really what drew me in so I picked up the black cat as well as the white cat clip-on earrings I think it's gonna be really fun to interchange change them so I'll have like one ear as the black cat and then the other ear as the white cat I think it'd just be super fun and then I was only able to get the one ring but it's so cute this ring is basically a cat that's just jumping and I got it in the white colorway because I do have the white Nikokumia. If anybody spots the black Nikokumia with the navy bows, please feel free to let me know because I'd really love to have both black and the white cat of this series in my wardrobe. I know this video is pretty long, but I do have one more series to show you guys. And that is the newest series, which is the Harvest Festival series. I was very fortunate to pick up the head bow, the Usakumia clones. 
the socks, and the JSK. All in navy, of course, because I love blue. Y'all know me. I was really looking forward to this series because it features a harvest festival. There are pretzels on this dress, as well as Usakumya and Kumakumya making pies and doing all the fall things. It's such an adorable print that I had to purchase this series. I think the bodice is absolutely adorable. The top bit is actually detachable. The back is half sheared and there is gumakumya lace on the straps. The lace on the bottom isn't anything special, it's just basic flowers. I think what a really fun detail is on the front bow here, you have both usakumya and kumakumya and they really face outwards. Though it's a little odd that the lace is only on one side of the bow. There's also four buttonholes for the series too, which is great. I didn't think that was adjustable, so that's a lovely surprise. It is really such a cute series and I'm very happy to have been able to purchase this. You just gotta love all of these little details that are in Baby the Starshine Bright series. I feel like I'm gonna continue staring at this print to really just fully capture all of the little details that it has. And with that, that is all of the pieces that I purchased from Baby the Starshine Bright Japan. I think it's quite telling what series that I loved and picked from Baby the Starshine Bright for the past two years. Almost all the pieces that I purchased are solid cotton, so I think that says something about me. I think I'm going to be doing a try-on lookbook featuring all of these pieces that I purchased, just so that you can get a more general detail on how these pieces look on a human body instead of lying flat on the floor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very long haul video. Let me know what your favorite series were from the past two years from Baby the Starshine Bright were, and if you actually picked anything up. They definitely had a lot of good series that were released over the past two years. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Also, let me know if you purchased any of these series. I would love to twin with you. Okay, let's go clean up. There's so much Lolita on my floor right now. Ugh.